Welcome back. Today I'm working on the head of the Bufflehead Drake decoy. The head of a Bufflehead can take a lot of different shapes depending on whether his plumage is fanned or relaxed or in between. I'm going to do my best to stick to the pattern. The pattern includes a side profile and a top profile. The problem is there's no straight on front profile, so that shape will be left to my interpretation. I'm going to start by marking and cutting the side profile. There's a lot of bandsaw work to create the basic shape of the head. I'll try to speed this along for you. Next is the top profile. There's definitely a different shape to this view. A lot of this shape is on the lower part of his head. Then cutting the temples and cheeks to create that front profile. I'm holding the piece in a wooden hand screw clamp for better control and safety. Then a whole lot of sanding with a drum sander. Then some shaping and sanding with the Dremel tool. I got those cheek cuts a little deep at the top, so I've had to narrow down his crest to compensate for it. And always some hand sanding. And here's what I have at this point. Keep in mind it's a buffle head, not a puddle duck. Next up, I'm marking the outline of the bill so I can cut a separation and create a shadow line. I alternate between cutting straight down on the outline with the pointed knife and then cutting up to that cut from the side with the curved blade knife. I've also had good luck using a knife with a square chisel blade for this, but I broke that blade and haven't yet replaced it.
and I created some more hand sanding in the process. I'm using 8mm brown glass eyes on this decoy. I'm drilling a recess for the eyes with a 3 8 inch Forstner bit. The head will be both glued and screwed to the body. I'm going to counterbore with that same 3 8 inch Forstner bit so I can recess that screw down into the head. Then I drill the remainder with a twist drill. With that, the processing of the head is complete and ready to be attached to the body, but that's for the next video. I remain pleased with the results of this project. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for additional videos of progress on the buffle head.